Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to thereasonswesmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be a great day. Today is show number 403. And if you want to watch the show, you can go to www. You don't have to say that anymore, do you? <clears throat> excuse me, just the reasons we smile.com and you'll be able to see me moving around and trying to get this frog out of my throat. <clears> throat> Must have climbed in when I wasn't looking, maybe when I was asleep. Anyway, all right, now today I think we have an interesting show because the topic is, I'm going to bring you the 14 reasons you should not skip dental x-rays. Okay, why are x-rays important to a dentist? And I came up with 14 of them. So let's get started. All right. Oh, by the way, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. And if you would like to go to my office Facebook page, which is Dr. Kavitko and Associates, and like us, that would be great. Okay. So the first thing that dental x-rays do, the reasons you should not skip them, is tooth decay. All right. We can find cavities. We can find them when they're early and catch them and fix them at that point rather than waiting for them to become medium or large and it conserves tooth structure. It will save you from potentially needing a root canal. It can also save you from a potential toothache. Now, keep in mind that uh, small cavities, even medium cavities, and somewhat almost the large ones, you don't know they're there. There is no pain, there is no sensation that you have a cavity. The only way you know is if your dentist tells you, and the only way we can know is with the Explorer, for one, where we can put it in the, uh, push it on the tooth, and if it gets stuck, we know the tooth is soft there, or the x-rays. So if you're, x-ray, if you're thinking about skipping them to either save money or skipping them because you, um, you had some taking, taken three years ago or 18 months ago or two years ago or even a year ago, they're not really much value because that's what was happening a year ago, 18 months ago, and three, month, three years ago. They had, so chances are the little cavities you have now weren't on those x-rays, okay? So cavities, that would be the number one, at least on my list, not the number one as most important, but the first one we're going to cover. <laughs> okay, the other one would be dental abscesses. We call them periapical abscesses because they are at the apex or the end of your tooth, and peri is from the Latin word, the root word perimeter, around, and so around the apex. So you would say, why would I need an x-ray to tell me if I have an abscess? Because I'm going to have a toothache. I can tell my dentist if I have an abscess. Not all the time. Because I can see on the x-ray that you, are, you have an abscess. It just isn't hurting you yet. And wouldn't you like to avoid the painful episode of having to you know, be disturbed either on your vacation, in the middle of the night with pain, on a weekend when you can't reach a dentist, although I'm relatively reachable because I have an answering service and a pager and... They text me and they call me and they make sure that I get reached because that's what I've told them to do is to make sure that I'm reachable for people who are in need of some kind of emergency care, toothaches and whatnot. But the point is, is um, don't skip your dental x-rays because I can now see abscesses developing and I can tell you before it's an issue. So number two was dental abscesses. All right, another one is calculus. Now, calculus is not the math class in, in the case of dentistry. Calculus is what we dentists call tartar. A lot of people know the word tartar. Not many know the word calculus. The word calculus comes from calcified plaque. So plaque is this soft stuff that forms on teeth immediately after you, start, you brush. It starts to form little bits here, little bits there. And uh, if you leave that on your teeth for 24 hours, little bits of it start to harden or calcify, and when and we call that calculus, and when it builds up enough, well, then that becomes visible on an x-ray. 
Now keep in mind that plaque, that soft stuff I was talking about, the stuff that'll wipe off with your fingernail or with floss or your toothbrush, that is not visible on an x-ray for the most part. I can tell you that if you had a huge, huge, uh, <laughs> a huge, huge uh, glob of it, I guess, it would show up on an, on an x-ray maybe ever so faintly. But for the most part, plaque does not show up. Okay, so what I was talking about then is the calcified part. Now, why is it important to find calculus? That doesn't hurt you either, right? But when it's on your teeth, it causes inflammation, which then, uh, if that isn't uh, treated, the fibers that attach the, to the bone, the teeth to the bone, get irritated, and they recede, and when they recede, they bring the bone with it. So you get bone loss. So if I can f tell you that you have calculus below your gum line, then I can get it off, and I can prevent the bone loss, the periodontal disease, okay? So again, calculus doesn't hurt, and we're talking about that gunk on your teeth, not math. Uh, but it's important for me to find and get it off of your teeth for you before it creates a problem, okay? So we've covered tooth decay as a reason to not skip your dental x-rays. Uh, dental abscesses, finding them before they're painful is a second reason. Finding calculus below the gum line is a third reason. And a fourth reason is an impacted or unerupted tooth. Okay, so I had somebody come in the other day. They had... They had, let's see, they had five wisdom teeth. They had their wisdom teeth were in. They were in. They could see. They were chewing with them. But I looked at the one x-ray and I says, well, wonder what that is. And we took another film to see it better and it was a, 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 fifth, a fifth wisdom tooth that it was impacted. Way back where, way back in the back on the top right, leaning forward, pushing up against the other tooth. And it looks like he actually had a sixth extra wisdom tooth because his bottom right, it looked like that tooth, which was in but it had another tooth kind of growing onto it, like a, t like a, like a t Siamese twins attached. And so it was funny because that tooth was half impacted and half chewing. <laughs> I haven't seen, I've seen a lot of weird things. That was kind of interesting. Hadn't seen that one ever. So honestly, the back of his tooth is going to be, is acting like an impacted tooth, meaning food and stuff is getting back there. He's getting a little bit of a, little bit of uh, inflammation. And yet the other part is chewing. So what I'm probably going to do is numb him, sedate him, take out the top impacted tooth. Then I'm going to trim off or cut off, almost like separating Siamese twins, the impacted part. Kind of cool. Maybe I'll throw an x-ray up on the uh, video podcast one of these days. All right. So we're up to number five. Number five of reasons why you should not skip your dental x-rays. And that would be a cracked tooth. Now, cracks aren't visible on x-rays very easily, but if somebody has fallen, their front tooth is loose. It could be loose because it's kind of loosened in the socket, but it could also be loose because it snapped off up inside the socket. So when somebody has trauma to their face and their front teeth, an x-ray is very, very important because we can't just assume that it's loosened inside the socket and that it'll tighten up. We have to know in, uh, for sure that it's not broken. Because if it's broken, it's an extraction. If it's broken halfway up inside. And if we don't know that and we just pretend or we splint it to the other tooth, you're going to have some serious pain and you're going to wonder if I was asleep at the wheel or not. And, uh, and so again, if you're one of the people that would say, well, you know what, I had an x-ray last year. Think about that. <laughs> Think about this. Okay, I talked about decay in a three-year-old x-ray. Okay, so you fell and you hit your face, and I say, I want to take an x-ray. And if you say, well, you know, I have an x-ray from uh, last year of that area. Well, it's pretty clear. I think we can all agree that that would be kind of silly, wouldn't it? Uh, using an x-ray from last year for an injury that just happened. Well, the reason you would say, yeah, go ahead, take an x-ray, no problem, is because you know something could be different. But with the, um, with the small cavity, the developing cavity, the developing x-ray, you don't really know. You're not, you don't think you have an issue, so it's easy then in your mind to say to me, well, let's not take an x-ray. I got one at another dentist last month. We'll have it sent over. And I'm thinking, that's not going to help. <laughs> it's not going to help. But a lot of times it's a financial issue. Some people have concerns over radiation, and they feel very comfortable in their decision, but 
if you think about what I'm saying, you will realize that it's not a good choice to skip these. Okay, let's see. We are um, trying to see if we're about time to, if we're getting close to doing Dr. Kavitko, Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. By the way, if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. The show is called The Reasons We Smile. It's show number 403. And the topic today is I'm giving you 14 reasons why you should not skip dental x-rays. And we always do a Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. And people win free flowers from Vice Number Florist. And they're going to be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. So before we do it, though, there's a little disclaimer we have to play. But um, just remember that uh, the reasons you wouldn't want to skip your dental x-rays would be uh, that we can find tooth decay, dental abscesses, calculus, which is tartar, uh, impacted or unerupted teeth, and that plaque does not show up on an x-ray. Okay, so let's go ahead, listen to this first, and then we'll do the question. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kabitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kabitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kabitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's Question of the Day. All right, we're back. We're going to make sure that somebody today wins free flowers from Vice Timber Florist. And the question is, which of the following information can most likely not be determined from dental x-rays? Is it A, calculus, also known as tartar, which may have formed on the teeth, B, plaque, which may have formed on the teeth, C, abscesses, or D, tooth decay? All right, the winner receives free flowers from Vice Timber Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call, 459-9769. That's 459-9769. So go ahead and call now. Stay tuned to Dr. Kavitko. Hi, my name's Athena. My family and I have been patients of Dr. Kavitko and Associates for over 10 years. We've gone to Dr. Kavitko for numerous reasons, especially cleanings, crowns, and root canals. Since going to Dr. Kavitko, I get compliments every day on how beautiful my smile is, and people always ask me how I get my teeth so white. I used to be afraid of the dentist, but Dr. Kavitko and his staff make you feel very comfortable and relaxed, and I'm not afraid anymore. I would recommend Dr. Kavitko for all your family's dental needs. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614-262-9588. Dr. Kavitko, let's go! Hi, I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavitko and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavitko for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavitko, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. All right, we're back. This is The Reasons We Smile. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. On the line with us is we have Mike, John, Taylor, and Sarah. And let's go to Sarah. Hi, Sarah. How are you today? Hi, Dr. Kavitko. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for listening, first of all. And uh, hey, for calling in. And do you have the answer to Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? Which is it that you cannot see on an x-ray very well? B. B, which is plaque. Very good. Very good. Yay! <laughs> so stay, stay on the line, please, and we will get the information where you can get the flowers from Vice Number Florist, okay? Thank you. Awesome. Okay. So let's go to number six, things uh, of the reasons that you should not skip dental x-rays. Number six is overfilled or under, I'm sorry, overfilled restorations. So 
if you have, we call it an overhang. So let's say you had uh, some fillings done three years ago or even, uh, you know, six months ago. And it's time for me to take a look. It's, um, you know, you're new to me. I want to, I want to, um, I want to see your teeth. I want to get an x-ray. I want to know what's going on. And again, you're not having any issues. Well, what can I, one reason you wouldn't want to skip is I can see if your fillings are overdone, meaning they extend outside the tooth. A little bit of extra silver or tooth colored restoration uh, resin has mushed out and needed to be smoothed off and was missed. It's way down below the gum line. It's almost impossible to see with the naked eye. It happens, folks. And so if I can see that, if I know it's there, first of all, I could, could try to get it off. But in some cases, you actually have to have the filling redone because that little area of filling can act just like the, tal the calculus can, irritate your gums and cause bone loss. Okay? The other one, number seven, would be underfilled res restorations. A gap. We call it an underhang or an open margin. So the same thing. Somebody does a filling, they put the band around your tooth, they mush the filling down in there, put, place it down in there, and they think they got it in properly, but they missed. There's an opening. Didn't get it all the way to the bottom. That can happen a lot on crowns, on lays, inlays, it, but it can even happen on fillings, especially the new tooth-colored fillings, because you can trap air and have a big old air bubble down where you thought you had filling. So, knowing that is very important, because if you have a gap, an underfilled restoration, what happens there is you get decay. Okay, so remember, overfilled restorations can cause bone loss, irritating the gum and so on. Underfilled, the food and plaque, and actually it's like a big old opening a pathway for bacteria to get in there and uh, eat away at your tooth and cause tooth decay. So both of them are very, very important to know, and the only way you know is with an x-ray. So don't skip them. Okay, we're going to move on to number eight, which is bone loss. All right, bone loss is, as we know, part of the periodontal disease process. Starts with inflammation of the gum, and then if you don't deal with that, it begins to erode the bone, and there's no way to know if you have bone loss uh, until it's pretty far along. So if you have moderate bone loss, we're going to see where your gums have also receded. But early bone loss, we don't see that. And if we don't see it, we can't tell you about it. And if we can't tell you about it, you can't do anything different. And if you don't do anything different, you're going to keep losing bone. At some point, on your own, you're going to know that you have bone loss because guess what? The teeth are going to get loose. They're going to start flapping in the breeze. And people will come in and say, oh, you know, my, my forefront teeth are loose. I've been neglecting my teeth, but I definitely don't want to lose any teeth. So can you save them? And oftentimes, by the time they come in, it's too late. And if they had let me x-ray, including those front teeth, see, a lot of uh, dentists do those four bite wing x-rays, the two on each side, but they don't do the front teeth. They don't do the, the, the roots. They don't, they don't do upper. I don't know. It's just amazing to me. And so I will say, you know, we really need to see these teeth, too. And when we get those x-rays, that's where we start finding things that aren't, um, aren't good. All right, so that was number eight. Number nine internal and external resorption. Well, what the heck is that? That is where, for some reason, we don't know, we have no understanding of why this happens, but for some reason, the body has decided that this tooth is a foreign object, and it will start eating at it. It just starts trying to get rid of it. Just like if you had a little piece, like a sliver of wood underneath your skin, your body would know it's a foreign object, doesn't belong there, and it starts trying to get rid of it by bringing white blood cells, you get a little infection, it's pus, you know, and you, you know there's something there. You might scratch the skin go, what's that? And before you know it, you've like plucked off the little top of it and pus is coming out. And, and sometimes even the sliver comes out because your body was trying to get rid of it, push it out. Well, your tooth can be uh, d determined for an object and get uh, eaten away by the body as well. And in those instances, we have to take it out, let it heal, place an implant in the place of the tooth. And that does not hurt at all. Nobody knows that it's happening. But if you wait too long... Uh, the extraction can be really, really tricky because the tooth becomes almost like a sieve, like there's nothing solid to take out and we're chipping and cutting and, you know, it's just so much better if you let us x-ray it and then we can see, look what's happening here. We can take it out almost as a whole tooth at that point and it's less traumatic and it heals better. So, internal and external resorption. Maybe those should have been two. Maybe this should have been 15 reasons anyway. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let me see here. How am I doing on time? It looks to me like, and by the way, we have one, two, three, four, five more to go. 
So I think what we're going to do is go to a break now. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, and we'll be right back. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Here at Dr. Kavitko & Associates, we are intensely dedicated to providing the absolute best dental care. The word mediocre isn't in our vocabulary. We just won't take shortcuts. Isn't that what you want in the person with sharp objects in your mouth? Of course it is. However, people tend to assume high quality means expensive. But guess what? We're more affordable than you think. Our fees are about the same as one of those chains. But with us, you get our 34 years of experience and our unwavering commitment to quality. Discover for yourself. Call us at 614-262-9588. When it comes to the overall health of your teeth, trust the experience of Dr. Kavitko and Associates. From dental cleanings and exams to restoration, dental implants, and pediatric care, Dr. Kavitko and Associates can give you something to smile about. There's a lot of places out there that offer discount dentistry, but at Dr. Kavitko's, he actually takes the time. See what Dr. Kavitko and Associates can do for you. Conveniently located on High Street in Clintonville, call 262-9588 or online at drkavitko.com. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? Does it hurt when you smile? All right, we're back. If you're just joining us, this is The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. We are giving you 14 reasons why you should not skip dental x-rays. And we are up to number 10. With an x-ray, I can view your sinuses. Now, why is that an issue? Because if you have cloudiness, I can tell you have either a sinus infection or inflammation. When your sinus, sometimes sinuses will, will grow, they'll push down onto the teeth not really push down, but they grow and they get bigger and they grow around the teeth. That means a full-blown sinus infection could actually cause your teeth to hurt. I would not know that with an x-ray. Without an x-ray, I'm sorry, without an x-ray. Uh, another is trauma from occlusion. That's not something you hear very often, but a lot of people grind their teeth, clench their teeth, and they... Um, that does damage to the what we call the periodontium. Remember how I said teeth are not really attached to bone directly. Teeth are attached to gum, which goes from the, uh, so there's this little fiber that goes from the tooth to the bone called the Sharpie's fibers, and there's a little area in there, little springs. Well, if your bite is off because you had a filling that was too thick, it's going to cause that area to be inflamed, and it's going to look wider on an x-ray. So I'm going to know that you have trauma from occlusion from an x-ray before you even tell me, which means I can probably fix it before it becomes a painful episode. But trauma from occlusion can happen not just from a filling that's too thick, you know, it wasn't uh, adjusted properly, but also from just clenching and grinding while you sleep. And everybody says to me, I don't grind my teeth, and I'm looking at their teeth, and they've got all these flat spots worn off. These areas that used to be little cusps are now flat, plateaus. <laughs> it's like, well, somebody else is grinding them for you then if you're not doing it. The reality is, is they are doing it in their sleep and are not aware of it. So trauma from occlusion, which creates a widened periodontal ligament space on the x-ray that I can see. Okay, extra teeth. Actually, I accidentally covered that earlier where I can find if they have an extra tooth, like the gentleman with the five and a half wisdom teeth, which is one and a half too many, or uh, a child who maybe has an extra tooth between the two front incisors or someplace else. And it's good to know that because as that grows, it's going to put pressure on the tooth, the teeth that you do want. That, and we usually, they're, they're usually called supernumeraries, and we usually take them out before they become an issue. Another one would be cysts. See, I can see cysts on an x-ray, and you don't know you have a cyst until I see it. I don't know you have a cyst until I see it. So a cyst is a very important reason to not skip your dental x-ray. And finally, progress x-rays for doing when I'm doing root canals and when I'm placing implants. If, I'm, if I want to be careful, especially with an implant, and I don't want to hit the nerve, and I don't want to put the uh, drill into your sinus, which you wouldn't want me to do either, we do it slowly and carefully, and we start off with an x-ray that we know how many millimeters we have, but there is still the moment where I'm taking the drill, and I'm drilling through the gum and into the bone, and I want to make sure I stop before I touch the nerve. Why? Because if I touch the nerve, it's going to be, I could potentially make you numb. 
you could be permanently numb there. Sometimes it's temporary, but we've heard stories of permanent numbness. It has not happened to me, thank, thank, thankfully, but, you know, you never know, so you have to be careful. So what I do is I, I know, let's say I know we have 11 millimeters. Well, I'm only going to drill in seven and stop, take an x-ray, and that way I'll know if I'm in the right spot or not, am I lined up properly, am I aiming to the other tooth accidentally, am I aiming, you know, wrong. And there are surgical guides you can use for this, but you don't use a surgical guide in every instance. So progress x-rays for that and for a root canal, because if I can know exactly where my file is, where my gut approach is, which is the root canal sealer, then I can be certain that I've gotten it all the way to the end where it needs to be, and I can also be certain that it's not out the end of the tooth where we don't want it to be. All right, so that is 14 reasons you should not skip dental x-rays. I hope that um, it makes a lot of sense, and I hope that uh, those of you that are listening, when you come to me or your dentist, you will let them take the x-rays that they need. All right, so now it's time for my Why in the World segment. And um, <laughs> it's kind of a tie-in, because this one was Why in the World Would a Person Tie Their Dentist's Hands Behind Their Backs by Refusing dental x-rays that they that he or she has recommended and you know you think about we go to school we spend a lot of years uh, in school training we spend a lot of years you know, in, uh, continuously improving our skills and learning new information and we know what we can do for a patient we know uh, you know how much of a benefit this or that is going to be but when people come in and, and uh, say well you know I don't want that or I don't want this or um, it makes it hard, and it's frustrating because I know they're going to have a painful episode, or I know they're going to maybe lose a tooth they wouldn't have to lose. And it's very, it's very, it's funny because there's this fine line between wanting the person to understand what's going on and be healthy, let you make them healthy, and having them understand that as opposed to having them think, well, he or she, my dentist, they're just looking for more money. They just want to make more money on me. You know, it's like they're fine. They're looking for things. Well, by the way, that's what an examination is, <laughs> is we're examining you to look and see what's going on. So you're right. We are looking for things, but we're not looking for things that aren't there. If you are healthy, I'll tell you what, my favorite thing in the office, uh, aside from doing cosmetic dentistry, is to say to a person, you're healthy. Good job. Great job. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. I love that because it's a more pleasant conversation than having to say to somebody, uh, gee, you know, um, Kelly, I'm really sorry to tell you, but you have, you know, 13 cavities. You need three root canals. I've got to extract seven teeth and make you a partial or a denture or a bridge. That's unpleasant because you're thinking dollar signs. You're thinking that's going to cost me a ton of money. And guess what? You would be right. So, if you let me do the x-rays, you let me do the fluoride, you let me do the exam, everything that we know is important, chances are you're going to hear, hey, good job, no cavities, keep up the good work more often than the other. Okay, so that's it, off my soapbox. And next week, I will have Carly Red from the VH1 reality show Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. She's also been in a Chris Rock movie called Top 5. She is... Um, she has some important news to tell us, I guess. I'll wait for her to tell us on air. A couple big things coming up in her life. And so, um, anyway, that's all the time we have right now. So, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Dr. Kavitko, and visit my office Facebook page and like us. Be sure to join me next Sunday and every Sunday right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to thereasonswesmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588 or send an email to speaking at thereasonswesmile.com. WSNY and WSNY HD Columbus. The opinions expressed in this program are...